They say 3i Atlas is coming, another object from deep space crossing into our solar system. But something about it feels different. It's been showing up in headlines, scattered across YouTube thumbnails, and now one question keeps repeating itself. When will it pass by Earth? Will we even be able to see it? But the answers aren't simple. Let's start with the part no one likes to hear. 3i Atlas is not going to pass by Earth, not the way people imagine, not like a glowing arc across the night sky, not like the headlines promise. The truth is, it's never coming that close. Yes, it's entering the solar system. Yes, it's real. But when people ask, is it coming to Earth? What they mean is, will I see it with my eyes? Will it light up the sky? Will it feel close? And the answer, for most of us, is no. At its nearest point, 3i Atlas will be about 170 million miles away, nearly twice the distance between Earth and the Sun. And even that closest point won't happen when most expect. Around late October, the comet will reach its peak activity, flaring up as it nears the Sun. But Earth won't be watching. We'll be on the other side. The moment it lights up, we won't even have a clear view. It's frustrating. A visitor from another star enters our system, comes alive in the heat, and we miss it, not because it's hiding, but because we're simply in the wrong place. Still, the internet's filled with hype, claims that it's heading toward us, that we'll see something spectacular, but those claims ignore the geometry. 3i Atlas isn't aimed at Earth. It's moving across the inner system at an angle that brings it closer to Mars. And even when it swings back toward Earth's side, weeks after perihelion, it'll still be too far for most to notice. No bright display, no visible tail, just a faint blur in a telescope. It's not the kind of thing you'll catch with a glance out your window. Not this time, but that doesn't make it any less important. Because what really matters is that it came at all. This object, this icy fragment from another star, crossed into our system, moved through our time, and most of us will never even know. No fanfare, no fire in the sky, just motion in silence, a drift through darkness, a presence that doesn't wait to be seen, because sometimes what passes by us never really comes close, not in distance, not in light, only in meaning. So if 3i Atlas won't blaze across the sky, what does that leave us with? Can we actually see it? The answer is yes, but it won't be easy. It won't be romantic. It won't be the kind of sight that stops you in the middle of the street. It'll take preparation, patience, and the kind of curiosity that pushes people to look deeper, even when the sky looks empty. Let's be clear, this won't be a comet for the naked eye. Not now, not later, not even at its brightest. The best estimates say 3i Atlas will barely reach magnitude 11 or 12. That's faint, too faint for binoculars, too faint for most city skies. If you want to see it, you'll need a telescope. A real one, something that lets you focus in, track, and hold steady over time. But even then, it's not guaranteed. Because this isn't about chasing a light across the sky. It's about catching something on the edge of perception. You won't see dramatic colors. You won't see motion. What you'll see, if you're lucky, is a soft blur. A tiny smudge against the stars. A pale breath of light, drifting where almost nothing else moves. And that is something extraordinary. Because that blur, that's a visitor from another star. A piece of something older than Earth, older than our sun. A remnant of another place, another system, crossing ours for just a moment. And if you can catch it, even as a ghost, you'll be seeing something very few eyes will ever witness. So how do you do it? You wait. Not for the moment of peak activity. That's when it'll be lost behind the sun from our point of view. Instead, you aim for the window after. When it begins to fade, yes, but also when it climbs higher in our sky, away from the sun's glare. That window opens in November and stretches into December. By then, 3i Atlas will be pulling away, but the geometry improves. The view becomes clearer. The chance returns. Not brighter, but more possible. You'll need dark skies, not just outside the city, far. The kind of dark that reveals the Milky Way, the kind of dark that lets your eyes adjust to the quiet. You'll need a stable mount, 
a tracking system, maybe a camera that can capture long exposures and stack them layer after layer to tease out the signal from the noise. This isn't something you see in a flash. It's something you build slowly, like a memory forming in the dark. And even then, most people won't bother. They'll scroll past it, say it's too much work, say it's nothing special. But that's what makes it so rare. Because seeing 3 eye Atlas isn't about luck, it's about choice. And if you make that choice, if you stand under the stars, with the right gear, at the right time, you might just catch it. A blur, a whisper, a fragment of the void. A moment that says, you looked when almost no one else did. So maybe we won't see it, not with our eyes, not like we imagined. Three Eye Atlas won't streak across the sky in a blaze of green. It won't be shared in viral videos or caught in crowds looking up from city streets. It will pass, distant, cold, quiet, unnoticed by almost everyone. And yet, it still matters, because this isn't just another comet. It's not from here. Three Eye Atlas came from beyond, beyond our planets, beyond our star beyond everything we've ever touched. It traveled alone through the dark for millions of years, frozen, silent, carrying the dust and memory of a place we'll never see. And now, for the briefest moment, it's here, in our system, within reach, but not of our hands, only of our attention. That alone makes it extraordinary. In all of human history, we've confirmed only three of these. First came Umumua, fast and strange, shaped like a shard, and gone before we could truly look. Then Borisov, more familiar, but still undeniably from another sun. And now, Three Eye Atlas, not dramatic, not fiery, just real. And real is enough. These objects don't follow our rules. They don't loop back. They don't orbit neatly. They enter, they drift, and they disappear. No return ticket, no second chance. And maybe that's what makes them matter so much. They remind us of what we rarely admit, that the universe is full of things we'll never catch, that some stories aren't written for us, that we're not always the center, sometimes we're just nearby. 3 Eye Atlas isn't coming to Earth, it never was. It's moving through space on a path that was never about us, but we noticed, we looked, we ran the numbers, we tracked the arc, we paid attention, and that act, that decision to care turned a silent rock into something more, because that's what humans do. We connect dots. We search for patterns in the chaos. We find meaning where others see nothing. Most people will never hear about Three Eye Atlas. They'll miss the distance. They'll miss the data. They'll miss the chance to wonder. But not you. You're still here, listening, watching, wondering. And in that, you're part of something rare. Because this isn't just about a comet. It's about being awake, about choosing to care about what moves beyond the light, about recognizing that sometimes what we notice, even from far away, tells us more about who we are than what we're looking at. In the silence, in the drift, in the space between stars, we see ourselves. It won't pass close. It won't light up the sky. And most people will forget it even happened. But maybe that's the point. Some things drift through this world without noise, without fire, without asking to be seen. They come and go like a shadow in the corner of the frame, like a page that turns without a sound, like a presence that doesn't need attention to be real. Three, I Atlas won't stop for us. It won't wave, it won't wait, but we noticed. And sometimes noticing is enough to look up at a sky that seems empty and still feel a pulse to know that something ancient just passed by, untouched, unnoticed, but not by you. You were here, you were watching, you listen. There's a strange kind of beauty in that, in witnessing something quiet, something so easy to miss, so easy to scroll past, to forget, but you didn't. You stayed, you felt the drift, you followed the silence. That makes you part of this, part of a small, scattered group of people who choose to care about things that move slowly, things that don't demand attention, things that remind us how big this universe really is and how small and beautiful we are within it. So if you're still here, leave a like. 
it helps more people find this moment and tells the algorithm that not everything has to explode to be seen. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. There's more coming, more to wonder about, more that drifts in the dark. Because sometimes, the most powerful stories are the ones that almost go unnoticed. And sometimes, the people who see them are the ones most worth reaching.